everybody seemed to be panic selling. Why? Why would they? I, well, we can, we're going to tell you why they were. And, well, I don't really blame them. Can you take advantage of it, though? It's no money spent. Market? It's kind of like a market crash. Let's go. If you're looking to build the best team in Madden, make sure you avoid the packs and save some racks. Heading over to MMOEXP.com. Use my code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description down below. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We're here, and yes. Yes, yes, yes. So the market is crashing, right? It's crashing. It, 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 it is, it is. And it's a great time to have coins. If you were patient, you can be in luck. Now, uh, part of the reason is, is that the zero chill item, strategy item, it, it, it don't work anymore, right? It doesn't work. So now everyone's, oh my God, we've got campus heroes coming. What are we going to do? Get rid of my team. Now, the biggest crashes happened on the most expensive cards, which is fairly normal, you know? Um, and you could look into some of those cards. If you watched my main channel, we talked about the ghost of future mutt team which is the best team in the game right now. However, that's way too expensive. It's way too expensive. But what you can do is take advantage of other things because a lot of these other cards, they came down in price and it's not that they're cheap now. Like they're not cheap, but they're actually pretty reasonably priced from the ghosts and the non ghosts. They got reasonably priced. Now, a lot of times the crash before the crash is better. People are scared. People are terrified right now because they've put all these coins, all this investment into a zero chill team. With Campus Heroes coming, you've got people scaring them. Well, we're getting a, we're gonna get an overall bump. Well, maybe. If you want my opinion, I I really don't know. I have no idea what EA is going to do. Because Campus Heroes feels like it's probably at this tiny little one-off promo again as we wait for something bigger what could be the bigger thing well it's the final week of the nfl season oh the playoffs is coming so we're probably getting playoff promo next week which is also when season four is coming interesting so do you think do you think we're going to get overall bump now, or we're going to get overall bump with the playoff promo. Mm, who knows, right? But you can bet that next week for sure we'll have 94s and then 95 LTDs. That's for sure next week, right? EA may or may not have a teaser for us tonight, Wednesday night for Campus Heroes. If they do, then we'll know what's going on, obviously. We'll know the overalls have changed or the overalls haven't. So, there's two things you can do. One, the cards are cheap enough. If you want to buy a card or two here, that, that's fine. Like, don't go spend all your coins. But you want to snag a card or two that you've had your eye on and it's down to 300k? It's not a bad idea. But, if Campus Heroes are revealed to be 93s, these cards are going to go back up in price. They, they will they would they not not a ton but they will they will go up and change so what do you do so here's here's what i would suggest doing if, if you're like me we've just been stacking and hoarding and doing all this stuff i think the proper move because we're not even at season four we're basically done is to wait Yes, wait, because we don't know what this week is going to bring, but we know what next week is going to bring. Season four, playoff promo. That's a point when people are definitely going to be selling, and that's when we can go and we can snag some of those cards, because when that happens, you're going to get overall boost. When you get overall boost, you're going to get pack odds changes and all that. And I tell you what, a lot of these cards in our team are still pretty good. Can we make some significant upgrades here? Absolutely, we can. But if I were to upgrade five players at 300,000, 
That's 1.5 million coins. It's a lot of coins. But what if next week they crash down to 200k? Which isn't all that uncommon because that seems to be like the point where like the old overall goes to when new content comes out. So that means we could get five cards for probably around a million coins. All that extra 500k could net you two more cards. So instead of being five players, you get seven upgrades. Oh my god. And all you have to do is wait. Now, you can probably still use the team you have and do all that, but again, we know a new season is on the way. So, it's not a race. We are not running to this finish line right now, boys. There's no need. There's no need. We still, why do we still have that? I don't know why. A free 88. Woo, fancy. Awesome. Um, <laughs> let's open this. I'm just waiting again. I see, I see a crash and the cards may go up Wednesday, Thursday, whenever it is uh, very, very, very possible that they do because you know, uh, campus heroes aren't revealed to be awesome. But I think the best thing to do is just, just hold still. If we were at the start of a new season and you want to start getting that XP and you got to do the comp pass and stuff again, I get it. hundred percent get it but here. We don't have to, right? And again, I want to make this very clear to you guys when we talk about stuff within this game, you will always see comments on every single no money spent video. How did you get all those coins? A lot of it is patience. But the one thing I want to say to you, if you are full, no money spent, full, that means you spent zero. You can spend a little I, that again. If this wasn't a no money spent series, I'd spend a little bit on some of the special offers. But my God, please do not open coin packs. I'm telling you right now, don't open coin packs. You are going to lose on them all the time, all the time. If you wanted to go in and maybe you wanted to get, mm, you know, some mystery packs occasionally, that's okay. So one thing we need to keep an eye on as well with season four on the way is our strategy items. Do you have a lot of them? Oh, I can't sell them. Okay, we can't sell them. Cool. What do we need to be doing? Hold on to them. Do not quick sell them. You can upgrade them. And you'll be able to get some epic ones. Will we be able to sell those? I I, I, I don't know. It seems like EA doesn't want us do, selling strategy items anymore. And that's fine. Cool. 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 However, if you quick sell two of these for 40k, the epic ones will probably be have a quick sell value of 40k. Why do we say that? Because two of these is 20. And one of these is 20, right? It makes sense. So you're not going to lose any coins, but you may be able to get that new item strategy card ready there. Okay. Now again, if you're going along the whole path and you want to make sure that you're getting everything, I'm not even trying to like finish all this stuff. Like it's not worth my time. Oh, it's a free pack. Cool. Get it. This is the only one I really care about, right? Again, as we go through to our compass, like I'm, what, what am I? 24, like super close there. The 50 K would be nice. Could actually get it pretty easy. Cause we don't have any of this stuff done. We'll get there. But again, I'm not worrying. I'm not worrying at all. But if you're like me on an account like this, we see that the competitive pass archives in nine days, 10 hours, 41 minutes. The season changes in seven days. So if you're someone like me, and this is what I'm going to do here is hold on to this 50,000 XP, right? I'm going to get as close as I can to this, to this number right here, 3264. And I'm going to try to cash it in for the next season. I've never done that before. I don't even know if it really works, but that's what I'm going to try to do. It makes sense that it should work because I don't need it. Let's try. So if I can get a 50 K boost or 30, I guess 30 K boost. I'll take a 30 K boost because at the beginning of the season, that's actually like holds a little bit of a weight and value and it'll put you a day ahead on certain stuff and all that. Uh, and again, for how little we really try to play on no money spent, uh, that's helpful. 
So 30k will get you to level five, six, something like that. I'll take that. I'll take, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll take a little booster. So that's what I'm going to try and do with that. Otherwise, again, we are just waiting. If Campus Heroes comes out and they are 94s and then people keep panic selling, by all means, go shopping. If they don't, if they don't, and you have cards and the prices rise because people are trying to buy back their teams, by all means, sell. Sell, right? I don't have anything to sell. I'm not, not, me, not me personally, but I'm, a, I'm waiting for playoff content. I'm waiting for season four. It's going to be an easy week here. Again, I don't mind taking a little bit of time off at times from playing the game. Sometimes I'm sure you guys don't mind as well. It can feel like a lot. So we're relaxing. We'll come back. If there's something with Campus Heroes, hopefully there's some free stuff that we can uh, obtain pretty easily. Otherwise, I love you guys. And I'm out. Peace.